I've enjoyed this meal today, not one little bit. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Food Review Club. We are still here in Brixton, this time on the higher end of the chicken spectrum, other side fried. On a little archway, just off the main street. Instagram for this place looks great. But before we get on with the food and show you what we've got, how much it was, outrageously expensive, B T W. We've got a sponsor. You ready? Down there somewhere. CP Packaging. Ladies and gents, if you are looking for a reliable, trustworthy packaging supplier that can benefit your takeaway restaurant or business, hit up CP Packaging. They're the best in the game, the leading UK packaging supplier. Facts. We absolutely love them here at Food Review Club. A cracking sponsor, a great business, and a super team that can help you achieve more with your business. Now, Callum, let's eat some food. So, backstory. We found these guys on Instagram. Drove past, thought, oh, they look good. Let's go and check them out. And I've got to be honest, the food does look cracking. Have a look at their Instagram. It looks the box. Really, really nice. Some great looking chicken burgers. How does it stack up, though? When you consider, I've just been up the road to Morley's, and that was a great meal, to be fair, for like 6 50 That's including my drink. You know, uh, when you consider that two meals here were 40 Yeah, £20 per person for a chicken burger, a drink, wings, ah, one portion of wings, not two, and some dirty fries. 40 quid. £20 for the same meal I had at Morley's. Yes, we're on the higher end of the spectrum, but for that price difference in the middle for a snack, this becomes a more of a serious dinner. Come on, let's, let, let's have a look and see what you guys think. There's my dirty fries. There's the wings. Here's the chicken burger. So this is the, this chicken burger. I was going to get the normal chicken burger, but um, this one did look good on the menu. So that is the bacon, cheese, chicken burger. Does look good. It looks really good, mate. Massive piece of chicken in there. I got a nice dollop of one piece of, two pieces of bacon. That kind of looks a bit green, though, that bacon. I don't know what's going on there. Got a bit like Tim Horton style bacon. Not sure about that. Fat piece of chicken, couple of pickles, some gross looking uh, lettuce. There you go. I'm gonna be honest, that's pretty tasty. Um, you've got that cheese sauce is more like a mustardy cheese mayo. Brings a nice bit of like, warmth to it, but but yeah, it's not bad. The bun is like small and delicate, but still, as it's whole, isn't falling apart like a piece of shit. A fat piece of chicken as well. That being said, though, I loved my burger I had from Morley, so I don't know. Is that too fancy? Debate open. Have your say. What would you rather? Are these fancy places going too far? Like, beyond where you actually want? You just want to go and get a nice piece of fried chicken and a bun? A bit of mayo and lettuce? Maybe. It's good, but it's not blowing me away. Right, fries. These, to be fair, look good. They, do they look, look good. good. Good flavouring, good cheese. OK. It tastes like it's got buffalo sauce on that. Let's get like a big handful, just see what's what. Yeah. It's really tasty. Really nice rice. Little piece of bacon on top. Cheese sauce. That buffalo sauce in there brings some sharp vinegar flavour to the mix. All in all, not bad at all. Right, drink watch. Uh. <laughs> Already boshed my water. Feeling like we're gonna stay hydrated today, you know what I'm saying? Man is a fish. Do you know when you're like slightly thirsty? That's just like mouth, it's just like body nectar. <laughs> I feel like a bee drinking from a tulip or something, just like. Ah. Oh. Brings me life, brings me energy. DC, no. Right, wings. Now these look to me, looking at that one there. Oh, stay still, sorry. 
That one there looks looks slightly overdone. Not the best looking wings I've nah. ever seen in my life. Not gonna How lie. much are these? 6 dollars think? Yeah. Strange one, Callum. Considering what wings you can get for 6 dollars Yeah, man. They're a bit Billy Basic. I don't, I, I, I'm going to say this hesitantly. The man was very polite and helpful, but the shop behind the counter didn't look uh, particularly clean. Mm. Went to the toilet, same story. Probably why I've got a bit of an edginess to me because, do you understand me? I don't know. Especially when you're paying that kind of price. Exactly well. right, mate, exactly right. But I understand the location, but so was Morley's up the road and it's just, you know, I don't yeah, that, know. That Morley's was clean, that was a good Morley's. Clean, nice. Okay, that Korean sauce, for me, not enjoyable. It had a, uh, a synthetic tang to it. It's a slight warmth, a bit gloopy. The viscosity's all wrong. Feels a bit oily and gloopy at the same time. Flavour's not really, it's just like piped on, it's not tossed in it. The chicken, I bet that's made me feel like instantly ill. Oh dear. Like part of me wants to be sick. Oh. Um, yeah, wings, slightly overdone for me. Something not right about this place. Not enjoyed it at all. 40 quid out of my pocket. Two meals. I'm not reacting well to that, I'm gonna be honest. Inside, I'm kicking the fuck off. I feel like I've just been fucked. 20 quid, exact same meal I've just had up the road. Is South London the capital of fried chicken, potentially? Have I enjoyed this meal today? Not one little fucking bit. Without being too harsh, I'm trying to be respectful. You know, I think I'm gonna give this like a 6-5. Uh, take the other side fried. Take that score, run to the hills, is what it is. I've enjoyed that. Sorry, guys. Thanks for watching those. Callum behind the camera, me in front of it. Like and follow for brand new content at 6 o'clock every day. For now, though, that is a review. We're licking your lips, checking the dips. Uh, we're checking out the best of the bunch so you can get your best breakfast, dinner, or lunch. It's Matt D and Jess coming with a food review. We've been traveling, trying to find the best foods for you. Yeah, now that's a review.